Hi everyone, my name is Jaden. I'm Caden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And we are the Who on the Tour YouTube channel. And we thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys. We are your family. We hope you guys would consider us your family and our family. And we'll all be one big happy family here. And we are uh, hanging out in the middle of the jungle. It is the beginning of the week. What is it today? Monday? Yep. Monday is on the Gregorian calendar. Um, every one of the days of the week are based upon satanic things. And so we are actually in the day of the moon is what the Gregorians and the pagans would like us to think. So here we are. And um, we are reading into Joshua. And for anybody, uh, for a quick recap, what, uh, what is happening here in the book of Joshua, Jade? The Israelites are taking over the land of Israel. They are finally claiming what's theirs after 40 years of wandering in the desert and wandering around with Moses. They are finally taking all over all the lands, right? They're starting to kick the uh, evil nations out. They're starting to kick the giants out. They're starting to clean up the land as they were supposed to, but then they started leaving a few places like the Jebusites, and they let them just sit there, and they let a few people just kind of hang out. Yeah, so they did not uh, put everything under the ban, and that is a major problem that we have back then and what we have as well today. Guys, for anybody who has not seen this and anybody who has not ordered a Yaz Scriptures, these are available. They will be shipped out in the late February, March of 2024. Uh, $64. You will never find a cheaper version of these Scriptures. This Bible is very, very nice set of Scriptures. Very nice. 103 books, 14.5 font, large print. And it has all of these books that we're reading along with the Apocrypha as well. And so if you would like to help Boss Clan, if you would like to donate to Boss Clan, this is how you do it. And donations never, ever hit our account. We do not do anything with donations. When we are asking for donations, we are asking that you guys will purchase one of these scriptures so that we can get them into the prisons in the United States. Because for every scriptures that we are able to sell, we are able to get one full in along with shipping into the prisons and so that is how you guys can help us that is how you can help this ministry how you guys can help us build this this bible printing press and for anybody who does not have the funds doesn't want the, the hard copy the pdf is absolutely free of charge you can put this onto any single device that you have any phones computers electronics it is all there Okay, now we are heading over this. We're going to have Eli read this again because we're going to try to figure out this maps. And so this is what this chapter looks like today. And we're not going to read it all along here, but we're going to try to figure out where we are. And so, Jade, um, I was looking at this morning and I wasn't exactly sure. I think what we're looking at right now today is we're looking at what they call Joseph's area. And so it, it essentially is it's all of this stuff with a menasha. But let's see if we can figure out what he is saying from here and see where we are at exactly. Okay, go ahead, Eli. And a lot for the children of Joseph went out from the Yardin by Jericho to the waters of Jericho on the east to the wilderness going out from Jericho through the mountains of right. Bethel. Hold on. Let's see if we can find Jericho first. Um, I don't even know where this is at. Do we see Jericho anywhere? Jericho in here? is... Right here. All right, so there's Jericho. Okay, so the very first thing. What did you say, Eli, on your first thing? Uh, uh, and the law for the children of Yosef went out from the Yardin by Jericho to the waters of Jericho on the east to the wilderness going up from Jericho through the mountains to Bethel. Okay, so there's Bethel right there. Bethel. Okay, hit it. And went out from Bethel to Luz and passed over to the border of the Archites to Ad Adaroth. Okay, where, where are we at? Anyone see this? Beth no, I do not. All right, so we were starting off at Jericho. Let's see if we can find this over here. So Jericho is right here. There's Jericho right here. It said it went over to the east. Is that first of all? Where'd it go? Yeah, Eli? east. And goes and passed over from Beth El to Luz. All right, anyone see a Luz in here? No. Did that get renamed? Luz, I'll tell you something about that. Uh, L U Z. Yes. We read about this a lot. I just don't know where it is at. Okay. Hit, uh, hit. Adaroth. Adaroth? Mm hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna be east, right? Hey. This map is so hard to read. Yeah, it's really um, dark. Okay, so let's try it over here. So, Jericho. Adaroth? Adaroth. I don't know. It might not even be on this map. All right, so let's hit it. Let's continue on. 
and went down westward to the border of the Yaphalites, as far as the boundary of Lower Beth Koran, to Gezer and uh, the sea. All right, where's Gezer? There's a sea right there, so Gezer must be somewhere over here. So I think what they're doing is they're bringing us, they're showing us the maps of this is where we're, we're supposed to be. All right, continue on. You know what? Uh, thus the children of Yosef from Manasseh and Ephraim inherited. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their clans, was the border of their inheritance on the east side was Adaroth Adar, as far as Upper Beth Koran. And the border went out toward the sea to Mechmethath on the north, then the border went round eastward to Tanah Shiloh and passed over it on the east of Yano Yanoaka. Okay, so there we are. We, we found this. We found Ephraim stuff right here. And so this is what we're talking about right here to everybody that's, that's reading along with us on this. All right. Uh, from, or no, uh, and went down from Yanoka to Aroth and Nara, reached to Jericho, and came out at the Ardeen. From Tapwak, the border went westward to the Wadi Kana and ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim for their clans. And the sea. This must be the sea they're talking about right here, right? Is this little blue stuff where Benjamin is? Is this I the sea? Is that so. blue? Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, when that... Uh, oh, no, this is Benjamin's land. But why is it blue, though? I think uh, color-coded. But it looks really close to the same color mm -hmm. as the sea. It's a little bit uh, different color, though. Okay, so what sea would we be even talking about here? Jordan? Or the Dead Sea? The Dead Sea, maybe? The Jordan River. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this map is exactly right. Let's see if we can find. So there's Jericho right there. We we're tied. See, Ephraim. See, that map, the other map we're looking at, there, that's why it's not looking good because Ephraim's right here at the edge, right? It's This other map is completely jacked. Um, that doesn't make it. So here is the. What is this? Rallardan? Jordan? All right, let's continue on see what we have. Anyway, so this is what we're talking about. So hopefully we're not confusing all of you guys. We're just trying to get a basic layout of what we're talking about as far as land goes. All right, hit it. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were the most the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities were their villages. And they did not drive out the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer. So the Canaanites dwell among the, the Ephraimites to this day and have become compulsory labor. Okay, so there's Gezer right there, right next to... Is that Bethlehem? No. What Beth is that? Something. Beth or is that Beth Beth Bar? I don't know. It's hard to I can't zoom in yet. It is really hard. There's Geezer right there. Geezer. Okay, so this is what we're talking about right here. All right. Let's continue on. That's it. That's it? That's the whole chapter? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we can find, like, these maps. Are... See, this map is better. The other map we got from Brother Glenn is not so good. Um... Ephraim right there, Menashe. And see, this map is different than the others. See how this stuff looks? Like, these guys have Menashe right here and Ephraim right here. And these guys have it right there. Um, and this map I got was even worse than, than that one. So, this is what we're talking about, Manasseh, Manasseh. So, which map is right? I don't know. I don't know if we have any maps that are right. This thing looks more like like a real map right here. So maybe this is the real looking map. But we have Menasha right here. And this is what we're talking about today. We're also talking about Menasha right here. And also Ephraim right here, right? Okay. And so this is this is one of the areas that we're talking about right there for this particular chapter. So, um, I guess we don't have a lot of stuff to go over here as far as that goes, but that is this chapter 16. This is the maps of where we are at. Um, it will hopefully we'll, we'll find some other maps. Hopefully we'll find something that we can, um, that are like legit, um, for this, because the, the problem is this is not mapped out like this today. It's not mapped out anything like this at all. And so, um, to find the correct map, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, looking, I think. So anyway, I think mean, that's it. I don't think we have anything else today. It'll keep this short and sweet. Um, much love to everybody out there. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for looking into this reading with us, reading 
Um, we are not um, people that are astute in teaching this stuff. We are simply reading along with you guys, which is why we get confused in a lot of this stuff, and we're just trying to pick it apart as we read it um, along with you guys. So if you guys have any other maps or anybody has like a legitimate map out there, let us know. Um, send it our way. We would love to play around with the maps because we will be looking at the maps as Joshua goes out and conquers all of these lands. So with that, much love to everybody. We hope you have a wonderful day. We're out. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.